Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Get those trumpets out, those walls are coming down. It's Joshua chapter 6 today. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to my understanding of you. Amen. Now Jericho was tightly shut up because of the children of Israel. No one went out and no one came in. He always said to Joshua, Sick. I have given Jericho into your hand, where its king, the mighty man of valor. All of you, all men of war, shall march around the city, going around the city once. You shall do this six days. Seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. On the seventh day, you shall march around the city seven times, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. It shall be that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and you hear the sound of the trumpets, all the people shall shout, with a great shout, and a great wall shall fall down flat, and the people shall go up, every man straight in front of him. Joshua the son of Nun called the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before Yahweh's Ark. They said to the people, Advance, march around the city, and let the armed men pass on before Yahweh's Ark. It was so, that when Joshua had spoken to the people, the seven priests, bearing the seven trumpets of Amazons, before Yahweh advanced, and blew the trumpets, and the Ark of Yahweh's Covenant followed them. The armed men went before the priests, who blew the trumpets, and the Ark went after them. The trumpets sounded as they went. Joshua commanded the people, saying, You shall not shout, nor let your voice be heard. Neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth, until the day I tell you to shout. Then you shall shout. So he caused Yahweh's ark to go around the city, going about at once. Then they came into the camp and stayed in the camp. Joshua rose early in the morning. The priests took up Yahweh's ark. The seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns in front of Yahweh's ark went on continually and blew the trumpets. The armed men went in front of them. The rear guard came after Yahweh's ark. The trumpets sounded as they went. The second day they marched around the city once, and returned into the camp. They did this six days. On the seventh day, they rose early at the dawning of the day, and marched around the city in the same way seven times. Only on this day, they marched around the city seven times. At the seventh time, when the priests blew the trumpets, Joshua said to the people, Shout, for Yahweh has given you the city. The city shall be devoted, even it and all of that is in it, to Yahweh. Only Rahab, the prostitute, shall live. She and all who are with her in the house, because she had the messages that we sent. But as for you, only keep for yourselves, for what is devoted to destruction. In case, when you have devoted it, you take of the devoted thing, so you would make the camp of Israel accursed, and trouble it. For all the silver, gold, and vessels of brass and iron are holy to Yahweh. They shall come into Yahweh's treasury. So the people shouted it. And the priests blew the trumpets. When the people heard the sound of the trumpet, the people shouted with a great shout, and the wall fell down flat, so that people went up into the city, every man straight in front of them, and they took the city. They utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, both young and old, an ox, sheep, and donkey, with the edge of the sword. Joshua said to the two men who had spied out the land, Go into the prostitute's house, and bring the woman, and all that she has out from there, as she swore to her. Young men who were spies went in, and brought out Rahab, with her father and mother, her brothers, and all that she had. They also brought out all of her relatives, and they set them outside of the camp of Israel. They burned the city with fire, and all that was in it. Only they put the silver, the gold, and the vessels of brass, and of iron into the treasury of Yahweh's house. Rahab the prostitute, her father's household, and all that she had, Joshua saved the life. She lives in the middle of Israel to this day, because she hid the messages whom Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. Joshua commanded them with an oath at that time, saying, Cursed is the man before Yahweh. He rises up and builds the city Jericho. With the loss of its firstborn, he will lay its foundation, and with the loss of his youngest son, he will set up his gates. So Yahweh was with Joshua, and his fame was in all the land. Mm-hmm.